We are back, ladies and gentlemen. So today I just want to show you guys my uh, leg hypertrophy workout. So this is more focused on uh, a little bit more muscle building, higher reps, versus the last leg workout that you saw that was, um, I want to say a little less volume, but a little bit more weight. So here you're going to see me do a lot more reps than you would in the last workout, and the exercises have changed a little bit. So starting off with deadlifts again, I'm, I like, like I mentioned a million times already, I'm, I'm a really big fan of deadlifts. I feel like it's improved a lot of um, deficiencies I had, primarily my back too. So this will be usually my main staple. So as you could tell, um, start off with 135 I believe, just kind of warm up 9 reps give or take. I've jumped up to 225 this time, a little higher of a jump than I usually am used to. Uh, I'm playing around with the width. I feel like too wide almost is like a cheat rep, but it works well. But I'm really trying to work on getting the hips down and really opening up the hips. That's one th area that I see myself being very tight in. And uh, one reason why I can't be as explosive is I like to be on the lower half of this portion. Or the lower ha half of the lift is really what I meant. I'm still debating whether or not I like the idea of stopping and then resetting up and then for every single rep. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe for these hypertrophy days, I might just leave it this way. Just kind of rep them out. Uh, did 225. I think that was nine reps. I was lost count. And we've got here, I believe, 295, give or take. So there you go, 295. So I, I this time around, I ended up cutting out a lot of in-between reps, not from the video, but from the workout. Uh, I wanted to test to see if I needed those reps. Uh, I like progressing rather slowly when I'm moving up in weight. Just kind of give my body a, a real nice warm up because this is, you know, what you're seeing here is 5 a.m. and it's probably not as much sleep as I like to get every day. So I am a little tight and I am a little, ugh, you know, the energy's not there. No pre workout, no anything. I'll talk about that in a later video. Um, so, so you know, I definitely like to make sure I'm, I'm nice and, and loose and ready to plow through a workout. So I, I don't progress quickly. But this time I tried it and it wasn't too bad. I, I think I lost a little bit of power towards the end because I wasn't warmed up enough. Uh, but it's not too bad. Like here I had to kind of re-grip. Re One thing I definitely try to work on on the lower end, as you can see, is, is keeping that chest up. Um, definitely need to work. If I'm repping it out like this, though, I do realize that my hips need to go lower. There's a lot of improvement that still needs to be made. Um, but, you know, it's part of the game. You got to make it. That's kind of how these videos have helped me out a lot. It's hard to see positioning and and, and uh, technique when you're doing the reps. I mean, there's really no way of doing it. So here is 335, I believe. Um, this actually, interestingly enough, was my one rep max just about a month ago. And so considering how my one rep max has just dramatically shot up, I was going to try to do this for reps. This is actually my last set of deadlifts. I wanted to get about six reps on this. So see how I do. Hips low. Focusing on just exploding for the rep. Boom. Not so much of an explosion, to be honest with you. I think the original goal was six, I believe. I think. Explode. You slow motherfucker. Oops. Anyways, so, come on. Well, so anyways, I mean, I wish the, the refs probably need to go a little faster, but like I said, I'm, I'm tired by this point. I have bruises after every single freaking session of deadlifts on my quads. I think I have some now. Oh, pull. Oh, and by the way, you guys realize that I have now have an official like leg day shirt. That's a Ninja Turtle shirt. Awesome shirt. Do pretty well every time I do it. I don't know if it's a psychological thing or whatnot. That's a hell of a crotch shot I just gave you guys. Whatevs. So I thought I haven't I haven't talked about this in one of the videos yet. So on my hypertrophy day, I, I work a little bit more on um, the hamstrings a little bit more. So here I moved on to leg press. Nothing too crazy, just enough to get the blood into the system. I go really high positioning with my feet, uh, almost to the point where my toes are almost off of the pad. More so just for focusing on the hams and, and quads. It really helps me focus on ten keeping tension in those areas when I do it that way. Um, you probably see also it's kind of slower tempo. I prefer that on hypertrophy days. Usually it's easier for me to 
maintain that that mind muscle connection I guess uh, then afterwards just finish the workout with three sets of these quad extensions whatever the hell you want leg extensions whatever you want to call them and uh, the hamstring machine I'll show you here in a second um, primarily just focus on squeezing uh, nothing too crazy uh, really lighter weight than I than I could probably do only because I don't like fucking up my shins or my not my shins my um my knees so you might see this machine in your gym I prefer this one rather than this laying down one why because I can actually really focus on contracting my hamstrings on that lower piece versus the other where I could just never make that connection and that's just probably a me thing uh, whatever works what it, check out whatever works best for you guys and whatever you can feel the, the contraction this is actually my last set that's why it's so sloppy as you could tell um, I'm kind of whipping my freaking legs towards the end I'm um, just trying to get it done, but that's kind of the workout for the day, guys. Questions, comments, let me know. Feel free to hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time.